Alright guys, welcome to RC Mojo. This week we've got a charger to have a look at. A Toolkit RC M6D AC. A dual charger in a nice compact box. But first, we're going to have a quick look at what we're replacing and why. Right, well, a few years ago we put together this setup. We've got a chunky power supply from Turnergy that's been working perfectly, although the fan starts and stops almost all the time, which can get a bit annoying. It's wired to a pair of ISDT chargers. They're nice and compact, charge all my batteries at 1C or higher, and have a nice display with good stats on. The only downside to them is the discharge. They could only manage to sink a few hundred milliamps, so they took a really long time to discharge LiPos for storage. All things considered though, they have been really good chargers, except for one thing that has made them pretty much unusable. If we power them up and go into one of the menus, you can see the scroll wheel is extremely jumpy. It pretty much just comes down to luck whether you can highlight the item you want, and needless to say, it's more than a little bit annoying. The issue is that rotary encoder, the thumb wheel turns. They're just not very good. I've cleaned them up many times, which has had them working for a few hours, but then they start getting jumpy again. I thought about replacing the encoders with something else, but it's just not worth the bother. So, enter the replacement. It's an all-in-one unit that runs from a DC supply or its built-in main supply. It'll do a good few amps into a 2 or 3S LiPo quite happily, all the way up to 6S. Plus, it'll discharge a few amps, so getting those packs down to a storage voltage is far less of a chore. It's also got a USB-C connector that will charge USB devices, or it can also be used to update the firmware as updates are released. The included instructions are very minimal. For the full manual you have to go to the Toolkit RC website and download a PDF. Not ideal, but it's just how things are these days. The proper manual is pretty good though, but most of these chargers are pretty similar anyway, so if you've used one it'll be pretty simple. As well as the charger, you also get a USB A to C lead and a mains lead, which is a bit of a sticking point as they don't do a version with a UK plug. They only do EU and US, which does sort of make sense as I don't think you'd get a UK plug in the box. It's not the end of the world though, as the charger uses a standard IEC C7 connector, so leads are pretty easy to find. Plus, if you buy the charger from a UK store, they might be nice enough to include one. Unfortunately, this one is the shortest lead in the world, so it doesn't reach from the power sockets above my bench, so I had to find a longer lead anyway. Right, with the charger connected, we can turn it on. We get a nice little beep and a splash screen, quickly followed by the main info screen. All nice and quick, so you're not having to wait a long time for it to get going. So far so good, except the screen does appear to be flickering. It's one of those times where in person it looks just fine, but the camera beats with the backlight. I tried switching from 50 to 60 frames per second, but that didn't help, so I ended up changing to a very slow shutter speed, which makes the screen look good, but the motion blur is a bit extreme. In hindsight, I really should have turned the brightness to maximum. The backlight would most likely have a 100% duty cycle, so no flicker. But the slow shutter is going to be good enough for today. The charger has XT60s, which are pretty much the standard these days for average size LiPos, so they just plug straight in. Above the connector is a nice status LED that lights up when there's a battery connected, and it goes red when the battery is charging, which is quite handy for seeing what's going on without having to get close enough to read the screen. The UI is nice and responsive, the thumb wheel feels pretty sturdy with a nice click, the text is clear, and even without reading the manual, the basic features are pretty easy to work out. I've set channel 1 for a storage charge at 2 amps. We've got the pack voltage, the current current, which is minus 2 amps as it's discharging, and then we have the cell voltages, which is very handy so we can see if any of the cells are wildly out of balance. OK, while that LiPo is running, I'm going to connect up an adapter lead to the second port and top up a 6L NiMi. It doesn't use the balance port, so we just need the main connector. 
All we do is a short press to switch the charger channel, which could be clearer on the screen. You just get a little one or two in the corner of the channel info. It would be nice if it was a bit more bold, maybe changing the whole background colour. It'll do though. Then we go into the menu and set up the battery type. Then we've got the current, which we'll set to something fairly high. 2C sounds good, so we're going to set it to 6 amps, and then start it. At the top right of the screen we have the charger's temperature. Now it's sinking quite a bit of current now, so it's going to build up and hopefully make the fan kick in. And well, it's not the quietest, but it's not dreadful. Also, the little fan icon animates, which is a nice touch. So yeah, just a super quick look. The charger has many features, such as being able to discharge one battery into another using the second pack as a sink for the fast discharge. You can also set up the outputs as a variable voltage bench power supply, which is very handy for running projects without running down all your batteries. It can also cycle batteries automatically, discharging and recharging, which can revive some tired battery packs. So I'm going to have to use it for a few weeks to get a good feel for it, but so far it looks like a good solid unit. If you don't see a follow up video, chances are it's still doing its job. And well, that's about it for this week. So as always, thanks for watching, like if you like, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment if there's something on your mind. Bye guys!